my version of Tuscan spinach and cream prawns with penne a pasta straight from Tuscany a province in Italy so let's get started I am using my drum wheat pasta for this dish this is the brand I use always to avoid the refined flour used to make pastas I am using this today this is the 100% wheat pasta to cook this pasta as regularly we add salt to the boiling water and then add in our pasta wait till it's cooked al dente and then drain it and rinse it with cold water to avoid it for the cooking just like our regular pasta drum wheat pasta also does take 7 to 9 minutes to cook apart from penne let's see what all we need to make this pasta we need a few cloves of garlic some oregano and chili flakes i am using regular spinach here you could also use the baby spinach we get these days in the market 10 to 12 sun dried tomatoes if you do not have sun dried tomatoes you can use the regular tomatoes or the cherry tomato 200 grams of shrimp or prawns deveined and cleaned traditionally this dish is made with half and half which is a milk product we do not have this in india so i am using amul fresh cream this is all we need to make the dish so let's get started to begin with add some hot water to your sun dried tomatoes and set them aside till we cook the rest of we need our sun dried tomatoes to be a little soft before we cook them chop some garlic cloves we need garlic cloves in two batches one when we cook the prawns second when we cook the vegetables chop all the garlic at the same time and keep it aside to speed up the process next comes the spinach just run your knife towards the stems and detach the stems from the spinach roughly chop the spinach in julienne size from start to the end if you are using the baby spinach do not need to cut the stems you can directly chop them into small pieces or juliennes as all our ingredients are prepped let's start cooking keep a pan on a heat and add some butter you could use olive oil instead but i love the flavors of garlic and butter in prawns once the butter melts add in the half portion of the garlic chopped saute the garlic till the raw smell goes away once the garlic is sauteed add in the prawns and give it a good stir the prawns do not take long time to cook they barely take around 2 to 3 minutes until to curl up and change their color so be gentle with the prawns and keep an eye on them we are going to cook the prawns about 90% as the rest of the prawns will be cooked in the cream sauce once the prawns are done fish them out from the oil and set them aside in the same pan and the butter add in the leftover chopped garlic and give it a good stir drain your sun dried tomatoes and add it to the garlic add the spinach to the sun dried tomatoes and the garlic it seems that we have added a lot of spinach but do not worry the spinach reduces its size while we cook stir fry the veggies till the spinach is well done i am an indian so i like my food spicy so i am adding a little bit of red chili flakes this is totally optional Moving on add some oregano I'm using my dry oregano if you want you can use your fresh oregano and fresh basil leaves chopped I did not have them so I'm not adding them Our mixture is now well done the spinach is also cooked and reduced in size it's time to add the cream I'm using my amul cream which is 200 ml all the ingredients with their exact measurements are listed in the description box so do check it out give it a good stir and then add in the prawns that we cooked earlier remember our prawns are not well done we are going to cook them further now keep stirring till we have a thick creamy sauce it's time to season the pasta sauce add in the salt and pepper to the taste remember our pasta was cooked in salt water so do not add too much of salt add salt which is sufficient to season the pasta sauce give this dish a good stir if your pasta sauce looks thick add some pasta water to this dish my pasta sauce was looking perfect so i did not add any add the boiled penne to this dish I am using penne you could use any kind of pasta you like the choice of pasta totally depends upon you 
stir the pasta in the sauce mix well your pasta should be well coated with the creamy sauce that we made give this a final stir and serve it up garnish the pasta with some chopped basil leaves and freshly grated parmesan cheese this pasta was so tasty that my family didn't allow me to take any pictures or any more videos and it was straight in their mouth so give this recipe a try i am sure your family is going to love it this is ritika your bakasur mama signing off bye bye